meals. And then you talked about like taking a period of time where you might need to completely eliminate certain foods. So can you- Yeah, so this is an interesting thing that I, I noticed is that every now and then I get someone in the gym who goes off on a, a, a rant, not me. I go off on rants so I'm talking about someone else's rant about how any diet that eliminates a certain food is evil. Um, you know, you, you should never be on a diet that's not fully balanced. That if you go on a diet that doesn't have any carbs in it, that you're wrong. Well, no. Because some people need, they have such an issue with carbohydrates and sugar. I'm not saying they're right to say sugar is evil. I'm not saying they're right to say sugar is wrong. I talk about that in the book. There's nothing wrong with sugar. Right. The problem with sugar is it tastes great. It it's oftentimes combined with fat, which makes it really, really taste great. And it has no protein or fiber in it. So it doesn't fill you up. But outside of that, there's nothing evil about sugar. Right. Oh, sugar lights up the same centers of your brain as cocaine does. Well, so does every time I pet a dog on the street. Right. Am I going to stop petting dogs because it's like doing cocaine? No. People get so wacko about these things. But sometimes people need to go from one extreme to another to kind of, I'm going to say something, this sounds so stupid and poetic coming from someone like me, but they have to balance their heart out for lack of a better word. And I don't mean this heart, I mean this heart. Is that when you're so over the top in one end of your life, I'll give you an example. There's a biblical example of this, is that the ancient Hebrews used to have these young men. And if they drank too much alcohol and had too much, you know, fun, they used to go through a period of their lives where they, they did not cut their hair. They didn't drink alcohol. And I can't remember what the third thing was they did. They weren't allowed to drink of the grape. They weren't allowed to cut their hair. And there was some other thing they couldn't do. I can't remember what it was. But they did not believe that was the way you should live. You know, But they knew that if you had gone one extreme, you had to go the other to bring yourself back to balance. So if your carb intake is so out of control, if you see a pizza and say, yes, you may very well need a no carb, low carb diet. One to reset your taste buds because what you're used to is so ridiculous. Two is set, change your standards because what you're used to is so ridiculous. And three, just get you basically back to baseline. I understand it's an extreme, but since you're already on this end, pulling you back is what's gonna bring you to center. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some people need no carbs. Some people need to go on low fat. Some people need to, you know, eliminate certain food types. I, I met a guy once who got sick off vegetables. Don't ask me how that worked, but he went to the doctor. The doctor confirmed his body was having a massive immune response to vegetables. So he went on a low vegetable diet. Tell that to some, and I'm not talking about all vegans and vegetarians. I'm talking about the wackos, right? I'm talking about the ones who, who, who won't let go and won't change the subject. Tell them you met a guy whose body gets worse off eating vegetables and they will lose their, you know what? Is that everybody? No, but there definitely was a dude who I know who that happened to. So some people need those extremes, but again, it's just to bring them back to balance. You're not supposed to stay there. Um, so 